I am Jake and for this video I'll be sharing with you how I use automation in Logic Pro X and what works for me. So right now I have a preset called Glistening Pad and a Deep Tech Drummer Kit and this is what it sounds like. Okay, so if I were working on this track, I'd want to make sure that there was automation because I need movement. And what I would do is I'd open up the plugin and I'd play around with parameters. And let's say I want to automate one of these parameters. Before I even do any of that, I'll show you what the way is that's common in Logic. You press A to see the tracks and then you'd have to click here and you'd have the parameters but you'd have to kind of read and figure out which is which and you have a it, it's kind of hard to discern between these descriptions and the physical interface of your plugin so one thing that you can do is use the touch automation which is located here and you press touch if you don't know how to open this if your session looks like this just press I or the inspector at the top left of your logic session. So now that you have touch, uh, the touch automation open, it should be highlighted in yellow. And when you press play and turn a parameter, the parameter will be shown in the automation lane in the arrangement view. And when you let go, the parameter goes back to the same spot with, uh, with which you started in. Now make sure that you turn parameter off, you put it into read, and you should be able to see it move right now. So I actually made that a key command, so I press option K to bring up my key commands, and I type latch. Oh, sorry. I type, I don't type latch, what I type is touch. And you click learn label, the command, you can use any any command you want, I chose shift, option, and one. Then I exit. So what happens is, if I press shift, option, and one, now you can see touch turned on automatically for the track I select. And when I move another parameter, you'll see it showing. Then I just press Shift Option 1 to quickly turn it off. Now, let me just delete that. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know that, you can actually, uh, in the if your automation is open, to delete all the automation points, just point your mouse at a blank space in the region, hold Option, and double click. And then press Delete, and that's how you select all the notes. So. This is how to use touch automation to find any parameter pretty quick in Logic Pro X. Now, if you click this arrow, you should see the automation here. Now, let me just exit this plugin. We have another problem, not a problem, but a different outlook. If I repeat this region and I press A again to show the automation, the automation does not follow. So let me just undo this. If you want it to follow, you have to use something that's called region automation. Right now we're in track automation. I know this is really confusing, but it takes time to get used to, I think. It took me quite a while. Wow, sorry about that. Anyhow, to move this these automation points to the region view, just click the green bar and press Control command down arrow. And now you'll see that this is switched into region view. And if you click track again, you won't see the original automation points. So now you can close this, click this again to switch into region view, and you have the automation stuck only to this MIDI region. So if I copy or duplicate it by pressing Command R and I press A, click this arrow, you'll see that the automation in this region has been copied exactly in the exact same way. So that's a really cool thing to know. And if you want to switch it back, let me just delete this. If you want to switch back, 
the automation from region back to track, you just click the green bar again and you press control command instead of down up. So you press control command up arrow. And now it's back in track automation. And you'll know that it's in track automation because you'll see the automation line carrying on. And that's pretty good for global automa automation effects. Now, once you've used the touch automation, you might want to fine tune your, your nodes, the little dots, the points. Instead of highlighting and deleting, you can actually use the eraser tool. So press T, and you'll see the eraser tool here. Press E, and just click one point and drag all the way to the end point that you want, and then repeat it, and repeat it again. And you can keep going. And again, if I'm happy with this, Pretty happy with it. So if I'm happy with it and I want I know that I want to use this automation as more of a sound design effect, I don't want it, I'm not gonna want it in the track automation. So I'll press the green bar again, control command down, and now my automation points are in my region and I can repeat it. And it'll be shown the exact same way. One more thing, when you're moving automation points, it can be difficult when you're trying to manually align it. There's a workaround. The only workaround I know is to press, uh, to make a short uh, a command. So press option K and just type snap automation. I made mine option W. So I'll just delete this and do it again. I'll click, so I, I type snap automation, click learn by key label, and then I press option W, and I exit. So initially, if you look really closely, when I'm trying to align this, it's pretty annoying. Now if I press option W, it snaps. It just snaps. So that's a pretty cool tool. Another thing, if you're a, uh, let's see, let's let's make an actual example. So I'll open up ES2. Now I decide, hey, I want this uh, filter cutoff to be uh, to be going up gradually. Sorry about the volume, but um, I'll now. I'll, we'll just go over the process that I went through. Shift, Option 1. I bring up my touch, my touch automation. I press A just to make sure I can see what's being automated. And then I turn the knob while I'm pressing play. That's really all I need, and I'll tell you why. I'll go to read. I'll exit this. I'll press Control command up to bring it back to track automation. So now the line extends because I want this to be a global effect. I click Option and double click to delete it all. And the goal is to make a global automated effect, which is the cutoff. We just determined that by using the, the, touch, uh, the touch tool, the touch automation mode. Here's another trick. You can use the marquee tool to make four nodes so instead of doing this and dragging up, what you can do is use the marquee tool wherever you want. To use the marquee tool, you just press command. And OK, you highlight. Anyhow, use the marquee tool. And when you click on the highlighted notes and you drag up, you get four nodes. And then you can just double click one of the nodes that you want to take away and delete. And now you have something like this. And you'll see that the cutoff was moving. Look at this part.
So anyhow, I hope this video helped and offer me suggestions. I'm new to these tutorials. Take care.